days okay I'm going to yes I'm on the system system folder as you can see at the top I'm on the system folder and sorry and as you can see this is my build dot prop file and what you have to do is to just single click on it or single tap on it and open it with any of the text editor I have here I have RB text editor so here you will find the changes that you had made so as you can see my software development kit version that is 24 basically this was 15 so I had accidentally changed that to 20 Four. so that was the foolishness that I had made so after 15 or you have to find your own default value uh, software development kit value or API level then after that you can hit save so as you can see grand root browser so you have to root then you can change this now all you have to do is to go for a reboot or I will go for a quick reboot Okay, we'll go for a quick reboot after typing SU, then reboot. Okay, now my device is being rebooting in a fast mode. Now let's hope this will work or this, this will be a solution for this problem anyway let's wait and basically if you are doing this kind of stuff guys you might I would recommend to do not make any changes on your build dot property file because build dot property file is the one file that handles every single app or API or other system information on your device so I would recommend to do not make any of changes in that kind of files and yeah, it, there will not be any solution for this problem because there is no other way to change that because if you uh, are going to change that with uh, if you, for example if we had changed that with um, a file browser or it might be a file explorer root browser root explorer so after changing that that app will not respond after you had you change the API level so that's the reason why you can change this so there will be one tool will be helpful for you this in this situation that is APK tool so download the APK tool then and I hope and I know someone will search in this video and that's why I had uh, simply uh, sh just click this video and this was a fast video I was not pre uh, freshly prepared so there might be some cons so forgive me or pardon me for that so let's see uh, will the problem has finished or let's have a look at my apps move let's go for and check on my API level okay and okay as you can see my device api level has restored oh thank god now um shall i confirm Alexander was not running now let's see yes thank god it's running it's running okay okay it's running so seems fine and the problem has been solved so let's have a look at the root browser where is that okay root browser oh let's see if it works yes yes it's running it's running okay so this is the problem if you change the, or if you edit the build property file so i would recommend to do not make any changes on your api levels 
or on your build your property file rather than you can change your device model number there is no problem for that but i would recommend to do not change your apa airsoft sdk file in your build dot property file uh, i will show that okay going to system uh, find the system files you can only navigate to this file see if your device is ready this file is very much important so I would recommend to do not make any changes on these files so these files are super powerful it's it's handles all the informations regarding your system so don't make any changes on these files and it might potentially harm your device so I hope your fob or anyone or who is watching this video might have solved this or fixed this issue so guys thanks for watching